Uh, let me begin by noting a somewhat obvious point. In announcing his departure, Senator Jeff Flake spoke his mind about the ways of Washington. I, I just can't continue uh, with this kind of politics. And President Trump's actions. The tweeting and uh, the behavior that just isn't becoming and is beneath the office of the president. Also slamming okay, Trump, another Republican senator who also isn't running for re-election. The constant non-truth telling, the just the, the name calling, the things like, I think the, the basement of our nation will be what he'll be remembered most for. The president fired back on Twitter, saying Flake and Corker retired rather than face possible re-election defeats. Trump also defended his behavior as president. Well, I think the press makes me more uncivil than I am. Political observers see a growing divide between traditional establishment Republicans and the party's increasingly populist base. There is a deep, deep split in the Republican Party, and it's getting deeper. Unprecedented, at least since the death throes of Richard Nixon in his final days as president in August of 1974. On Capitol Hill, many Republicans continue to stand by the president, saying results, not style, matter most. If you agree on his tax policy, which I do, uh, if you agree on his health care repeal, which I do, uh, if you agree on a lot of things, do you speak up for him or against him? I think right now I would agree with the president on a lot of things. The motion is adopted. With on Thursday, Congress passed a budget blueprint that could pave the way for Trump's top legislative priority, tax cuts. With a slim two-seat Senate majority, Republicans are stressing unity. If there's anything that unifies Republicans, it's tax reform. And we're going to concentrate on what our agenda is and not any of these other distractions. But by announcing their retirements, Flake and Corker, both deficit hawks, are freer than ever to vote as they see fit. I am extremely concerned about our looming debt and our deficit, and so uh, we're going to have to look at the package and see what it does. Flake and Corker will continue to serve and vote until the end of next year. Michael Bowman, VOA News, the Capitol.